What's going on, everybody? Cigar Show Tim here with another edition of Tobacco Talk, where I review a cigar and then I give you my thoughts on it in four key areas, flavor, draw, construction, and burn. It's everything you want to know about that cigar, but it's from my palate's perspective, and then I rate it as to whether I think it's noteworthy or not. So you already know what cigar I'm going to be reviewing. It is down right there in the title of this video. So I figured I might as well wear my hat that resembles the one that Carlito Fuente does don himself. And so I am going to be reviewing a cigar that I've had many, many times. Absolutely love it, but I haven't reviewed it yet on the channel, so I might as well do it now. This review is on the Arturo Fuente Hemingway Short Story. I'll get into the blend and all of that in just a minute here. But if we're going to review it, there's only one thing left to do. Let's light it up. All right, I went with my usual straight cut, as you can see right there. On the cold draw, pick up flavor notes of like a honey graham cracker, a little bit of a dried fruit, and a little bit of breadiness in there. So let's toast her up. Okay, upon initial light up, picking up quite a bit of cedar woodiness in there. A little bit of like a, a brown sugar kind of note in there as well. But it's mostly just that cedar woodiness. A slight hay note is in there also. But yeah, it's mostly that cedar woodiness. So I'm going to jump into the first third, which really isn't a whole lot on this quick short cigar. I'm going to jump into the first third. When I come back, I'll let you know the blend on it, any other information you might need to know. But I'm going to burn through this little bitty part down here at the bottom of this Perfecto end. And uh, I'll let you know that information and how it's going in the first third. Let me show you the burn here at the end of the first third. I'm actually down to the band, so I guess I'm first and a half third, but there you go. Burn is doing great. Just that little bitty point right there. Otherwise, doing fantastic. I'm going to slide the band down just a little bit. Okay, what's the blend on this cigar that has been around for years and years and years? Uh, some places you look it up, it is the uh, Arturo Fuente uh, Hemingway Vintage Short Story. Sometimes it's the Short Story Vintage. Uh, it's called a couple different ways. Uh, but the flavor notes, or excuse me, the blend on this, it has a Cameroon wrapper and it has Dominican binders and fillers. Uh, it comes from the Dominican Republic. That's where it's rolled in the Fuente factory down there. And it is a cigar that if you've been around the cigar industry, meaning as a consumer, if you've been a consumer of cigars for any number of years, chances are you have either heard of this or have smoked it many times. It's one of those Fuente cigars that everybody just seems to be familiar with. And it's a trusted reliable, great, quick, enjoyable cigar. So the flavor notes in the first third here, mostly that cedar wood. And I've over the years heard people say, oh, it's got the cedar wood flavor note because it's packaged in, you know, a box of 25 and it's a cedar wood box. Yeah, that absolutely may be the case. But in all reality, there are tons and tons of cigars that are boxed in cedar boxes and they don't have cedar flavor notes. So uh, the tobacco that's in here absolutely plays into that flavor profile of the cedar wood. There's still that little bit of sort of breadiness that's in there as well, um, but it's mostly just cedar wood. A little bit of the light hay is still there, and then there's a little, little bit of like a faint white pepper on the palate as well. Nothing spicy, nothing that's going to make you go, oh my gosh, like this is too strong. Nothing like that whatsoever. Very mellow. I would say the strength on this is like a mild plus when it comes to strength. And I'd say it's probably a medium bodied cigar, not real deep, rich, full flavors, but still medium in body. So that's what the blend is on the cigar. I'm going to smoke through, I'll say the second third, which is going to be, you know, like to here. So not very long from now. And then come back and let you know of any changes in the flavor profile. It is a four by 49. So four inches long and a 49 ring gauge. And it is a Perfecto. You saw at the beginning that point there at the uh, foot of the cigar at the tip there uh, is the Perfecto end of it. So I'm going to jump into the second third. And when I come back, I'll give you more flavor notes and anything else that I think you might need to know about the cigar. All right, let me show you the burn here at the end of the second third. Well, what I'm calling the second third. See right there, burn is doing very well still. Plenty of smoke coming off of the foot, and it is doing great. Strength on this, I would still say, is a mild plus. Nowhere close to a medium, not even close to a medium minus. Definitely just a good, solid, mild strength cigar. 
body, I would say still is medium in body. Flavor profile. Now, the second third, I guess you could call it the second third, the middle of the cigar is really my favorite part and what made me fall in love with the cigar. So like I mentioned in the last segment, it's got a Cameroon wrapper. It's an African grown Cameroon, so an actual Cameroon wrapper uh, with Dominican binders and fillers. But the flavor note in the second third that complements the cedar wood so well is a really good cashew nuttiness. And it's not a nuttiness of like, okay, yeah, it's kind of a nuttiness. What kind is it? Like it is a very, for me, very distinct cashew nuttiness. And it is absolutely delicious. This cigar, when I had it years ago, was really what turned me on to the flavor profile of nuttiness in cigars. And I was able to pick it up. And that's why I just fell in love with that flavor note because of this cigar. But also just because it is a flavor note that just does so well with my palate. So let's talk a little bit about this and the history of it. For basically all of the world they're familiar with are Toro Fuente cigars. Been around for decades and decades. This cigar specifically uh, is offered, I'll say, in two. Uh, I didn't mention it the last time when I talked about the blend on it. It's offered in two different ones. This is the natural, which is the Cameroon wrapper, and then there is a Maduro version also, uh, which I believe is a broadleaf wrapper on it. Uh, but it has been produced since the 1980s. So this has been around for 40 years, 40 plus years now. Uh, and it has been really a staple for so many different people that don't want to venture into the world of having a cigar that is five inches, six inches long, you know, anything longer than that. Uh, the Toros, all those kinds of things, even the Robustos. It's a very quick, simple, easy, mild, smooth cigar, and it fits pretty much every single palate that's out there. I've talked with people that smoke the very bold Maduros, you know, the the Connecticut Broadleaf, the the dark, the the sweet, the strong all those different um, cigars to people that enjoy just Connecticut's. And everybody seems to love the Hemingway short story. It's a cigar that is just so uh, smooth and balanced and easy for any palate uh, and newer cigar uh, smokers to get into because it is a quick smoke. It is very balanced and it's just very likable, quite honestly. So, that's what's going on in the second third. That's the flavor profile. You get the cedar wood, you get the cashew nuttiness. There is still a little bit of that white pepper that's in there. Um, and the pepper is just on the tip of my tongue mostly. It's not covering my palate. There's no spice on the retrohale, nothing like that at all. So I'm going to jump into the final third when I come back in like 2.6 seconds. Just kidding. Um, I'll let you know any changes in the flavor profile. If I remember correctly, it does transition just a little bit here in the final third, uh, but we'll get to that in just a second here. I'll let you know of any changes in the flavor profile, and of course, I'll let you know whether I think this is noteworthy or not. All right, let's wrap up this review. Down there at the end, I was going to say bitter end, but it is not bitter at all. There at the end of the cigar. All right, flavor notes as the cigar wrapped up. That cedar note is still absolutely the most prominent, followed immediately by the cashews. And then there's a really nice creamy note. And I remember there being a transition, like I mentioned a second ago, uh, and I was waiting to see if my memory served me correct, and it did. There's a really nice creamy note with that cashew nuttiness that just completely finishes off the cigar in such a positive way. The white pepper that's been there throughout the entire cigar is still there. It's just on the tip of the tongue like it's been through the entire time. Absolutely delicious. Love, love, love this cigar. If you can't tell, obviously this is a nub-worthy cigar. Very, very good. But I'm curious your thoughts on it. Have you had this Arturo Fuente uh, Hemingway short story? This is the natural edition. Again, there is a Maduro version as well. Uh, and just a good, classic, solid cigar that can be visited time after time after time. It's a great cigar because the smoke time is like 30 minutes, if that. Great to have on a lunch break or if you've not got a lot of time to enjoy a good cigar. This is one of those cigars that you can go to time after time. It's dependable. It's reliable. The construction, the draw, everything on it has performed flawlessly the entire time. And it ended still as a mild plus in strength and medium body. Just a good, solid cigar. So put some comments down below. Have you tried this before? Maybe you've heard about it and you think, okay, I've heard about it. I've never tried it. Maybe I should go and check it out now. Put some comments down below. What's your experience with it? Is it a cigar that you absolutely love? Is it one that you haven't had in a long time and now you want to go and revisit it again? Put the comments down below. I would love to get your input and your take on this 
short story by Arturo Fuente or the Hemingway short story. There are other iterations of it, um, and you can look them up. There's just a whole bunch of different ones that are out there uh, with a the short story. There's the perfect story uh, or the perfect, uh, I think it's called perfect, so- perfect story. Uh, but there are a number of different Vitolas and iterations of the uh, cigar that I had here of the short story, the Hemingway short story. So leave me some comments. I'd love to get your take on it. But that's going to do it for this edition of Tobacco Talk. Enjoy your cigar journey, everybody. I'm Cigar Show Tim. As always, I'll see you.